you guys ready? You better be ready, because it's almost showtime. Come on. Let's do this. Justin, what is going on? Welcome to the One Up Weekly Live. Yeah. What oh. is going on? This is cool. Come on. It's- Let's just it's jump like right unof- to it. It's like an unofficial. It's like an unofficial leak. That's right. So, well, no, it's an official. It's like Arcade leak. One Up <laughs> themselves are teasing us with I what's going to happen tomorrow. We are so excited. So, hit like, hit subscribe, comment, tell us what you think of this. We are going to be on. Just a reminder, we got to get this out of the way. You know, we're going to be on tomorrow live with John D. A recap of the announcements from IGN. Yep. But until now, we're going to talk about what you guys think. Looks like we got four. That's right, four different yep, guys four. coming out. One's a pinball machine and then three other cabs. What are they? Let's take a look. Let's dissect this, right, Ralph? Yeah, yeah. So, so all right, well, my, fr- my should we bring them up? Should we just, like, look? Should we? Should, can we have them on the side? There we go. Yeah, Where, yeah, yeah. Where'd we go? They want to see us. No, I'm yeah, just kidding. Yeah. All right, so check it out. So we got... So we got four cabinets that are here. Now the interesting thing about the four cabinets is that one of them looks one of them looks too much like what I think it is. So yeah. I'm just going to call that one okay, out. Okay, well hold on. One... How about how about this? Those in the chat, the fourth one all to the right. Give us yeah, your what vote. It? What it, what do you think it is? Let's not say anything. Let's just hear what people have to say. All right, Nikki Z, first one up. She's like, she's on it. She says big, big buck hunter. Now I'm not gonna say anything yet, but that's what she says. She says it's big buck hunter. What else do you get? What, what do you guys think? All right, we got another one in here. We got Mitch B, big buck hunter. We got Tim D, big buck hunter. We've got it's all a trap. <laughs> <laughs> so he thinks it's all made, made up. It's not real. Yeah. All right, we got uh, Ben says big buck. Another big buck. Uh, let's see. We got a house of the dead in there. Big yep. buck, mostly all big buck hunter. Another big buck hunter. The top. I mean, come is on. Big buck hunter. The, the end of that is like a rifle, right? Like, I all mean, right, so it would be check. really cool if it was T two, but there's so many things about it. Like, so if you look at the shape of the cab, we saw this leak. If you guys remember from CES uh, around that time, there was a picture of a a, a big buck hunter. I, it looks like so I, I don't want to. I don't want to say confirmed, but that's the shape of a big buck hunter, right? I'm removing Justin's sharing ability really quick. So that to me, if I were to turn <laughs> that sideways, I'm saying it's, I'm calling it's big buck hunter. It's, That's what it's, I'm calling. It's got to, right? So if you come back to here, right? Even the, it's got like a topper looking, like come back to here, kind of has that topper at the top. I think like right there. It's, it's got to be, right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to, I mean, that looks like the end of, I mean, hey, hold on. Where did I put the, Someone oh, shoot. Hold Brent on. Brent made a really good point. It actually looks different from the leak one. So for sure, what I can say is what we're looking at is you know it's Photoshop, right? So these are these are artist renderings of the cabs. It's probably the real ones. I'm guessing. Yeah, then I'm they then the IGN probably took the source of the real pictures, and then they you know subject outlined them, and then threw in the glow and threw in the black, completely blacked out the inner of it. Yeah, but but again, its but Justin, base look. is probably not unreal. Yeah, Justin, look, it's the end of the gun for sure. Like that's what it is. So I'm thinking, yeah. I'm thinking we at least can pseudo confirm that one. I think that one's definitely big buck hunter, no doubt, no doubt in my mind. Which yeah. is really cool because yeah, while you, you do that, I'm gonna go look at the the leak we have it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go find that picture real quick. Yeah, yeah go find that picture. So Justin had pointed out before, obviously, uh, big buck hunter, incredible technologies game. Golden T, Incredible Technologies game. Two games you find often in bars. Kind of cool to be able to pair those together in a game room if you're really into both those games. They're great bar games. They're easy to pick up and play. Although, I Big Buck Hunter, I always seem to struggle a bit. Like, it's quick. you got to be quick in Big Buck Hunter. You don't have a whole lot of extra. It's not like you have, like, a, an Uzi and you can spray with Big Buck Hunter. you got to be mm-hmm. accurate. So, uh, But I find that fun. Now, that's cool, though, because it's like, all right, what technology are they using for the light guns? That's what I'd love to know. I had talked about this before in like older episodes. I think Justin and I had talked about it. Is it wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility to just put an IR sensor, like sort of, you know, cut a hole in the marquee um, 
and not the marquee, sorry, in in the uh, bezel there somewhere and put the sensor in there. So there's pl a pl plenty of places you could hide it. Um, that gun, let me see, does that gun look like this gun? Is that the same gun? I think it is. Yeah. It uh, looks it's very similar. Very similar. Yeah, very similar. This this actually comes from a big Buck Hunter Sure Shot, which was a little standalone unit you hooked onto your mm -hmm. TV. So kind of interesting. So again, that picture right there that we're looking at was the CES leaks. It may have been redesigned. We don't know. It does look similar. And I would right. say it's the big Buck Hunter Pro is what I would say that is. So if you look at the one I have, that's the big Buck Hunter Pro. That's what I think that is. So hey, that's that's at least that one. But now we got we got three more to try to think about, right? Let's put those back up. All right. That's right. All right, so guys, you got to help us out here. So if you look all the way, oh, Oop, you do? sorry. All right, so go. if you go back, let, let's 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 bring this back up here. All right, so we went. We're gonna go from right to left. So we'll do sure. the next one. So the next one, uh, Justin, what does that look like to you? What oh, kind let's, of, what... let's ask the audience. So we're talking about the one to the right. I I do have an idea of what the one the second right next to Buck Hunter, what that one looks like. It looks like a cab that's already come out. It's it's to be to be honest, that's the the shape of it. Well, with the exception of one thing. So notice that interesting curve on the back. Now there could be an artist rendition and that's why yep. it looks that way, but do you notice the how angle. it's not the normal curve on the back of the cabinet? It actually has an angle. Wait, wait, wait. I'm starting to look at it and my eyes are so that you see the two peaks at the top? The two peaks at the top are the the side pieces it took me a while for my eyes to kind of like focus you can see those peaks are show that the cabinet is facing in that direction and then you can kind of see the silhouette of the uh, the on. furthest okay. part away. <laughs> i'm like, I'm like... <laughs> i don't know so to it's hard it to say different. so starting with burger time they started to make cabinets that are kind of like shaped more like uh, different from the original, and that looks like it's it's not shaped like previous cabinets. Well, wait, should we pull out the Miss Pac? Should, I mean, not that. Should we pull out the Pac Man right here and just see? Like, yeah, here, hold on, hold on, Justin. Can you see it? Yeah, let me let me focus on you, man. So see how like it's it's got a round curve. Yeah, so what, what Ralph's pointing out is these are the, the newer, this newer cab, the 40th anniversary Pac-Man, has kind of this rounder curve. Uh, you know, maybe maybe that's what they're doing with the newer cabinets, where they kind of have that rounder curve on but the this, back. But this looks the same. Is that on wheels? What the heck? <laughs> no, no, dragging it across a wood floor. But okay. this looks the same, right? It this looks similar. Looks yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. I think, I think right. people can hear you. Okay! coming back over all right so yeah so it looks similar it yeah. looks similar mm -hmm. um so i don't know that curve in the back is throwing me off but your eyes are saying something different right yeah you said it, your eyes are seeing it differently than me uh, i see like a i see an angle that doesn't yeah, look like a rounded edge i don't know hmm okay are we are we yeah. into one of those things remember was it mall rats where he's like it's a schooner <laughs> yeah. you idiot <laughs> that's right he's just staring at it <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so I don't know that that's generically shaped. We don't know what it is. Not sure. So I don't know. So what's the the one the second one? I don't know what that is. Is that? <laughs> I'm kidding. That's a pinball right. machine. So right? clearly it's a pinball. But okay, so we know we have. And I always get it wrong. Is it? It's Attack from Mars. So I know we have Attack yeah. from Mars. This is this is a have... huge like IGN announcement that's coming out tomorrow. There's no way that the picture is all like it's star wars they already announced that at ces by the way canada agrees with me that there's an angle so blaker is yeah. from canada if i remember right he's been watching for a really long time and he agrees there's an angle to it so i'm gonna go canada i'm going to use you blaker as a representative of all of canada all of canada says it's an angle so justin mm -hmm. you're wrong yeah so peter griffin he oh, mentioned something. I was highlighting yeah. his at the same time. Yeah, we talked about this before that maybe it's uh, maybe it's that's the Back to the Future, and if it is, I will lose it. I will go crazy. Yeah, if it is, but we don't know. But it, it's clearly another pinball title that we haven't seen. So, so I we've got so. we've got this, and and we'll, let's talk about this for like two seconds, Justin. We've got so what we know so far is they entered an agreement with Zen, so we know they could probably have access to the Zen properties. So Zen has Star Wars. Zen has the universal stuff, which would be 
more the Back to the Future. And then Zen has um, a couple other ones. They've got Marvel. They've got, shoot. I don't know. They've got a bunch of them. So it's like, I don't know which one it could be. But like, I'm also under the assumption that maybe they're going to limit them. So all the all the Zen packs that you can buy te- seem to be in packs of 10 games. So mm-hmm. I'm thinking it's one of those. Like it's pack, re- packaged up as one of those, I would think. Because we still it, don't have... Is uh, it Aliens versus Pinball? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I would say we'd stay within... I'm going to say that we'd stay within the... Um, within the Zen properties. Actually, I almost want to look that up really quick. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. So missing anything. It's Star Wars Rebels. There's so many Star Wars pinball variations, it's not even funny, but I don't think they would go with another Star Wars. I think the likely one for me here is Back to the Future. That's what I'm going to yeah. go with. I'm gonna, my pick is that's a Back to the Future. That's, that's what I'm going to say. All right, and that's then... My, who, what, is it, what do you guys think? Yeah, we got... Do you guys think it's Universal Studios? I want to hear from you guys. What do you think? Yeah. All right. We've got NFL Blitz. That must be a different... That's a different guess. But mm-hmm. I want to hear what you guys think the pinball machine is. Because I'm going... I'm going my, my vote is Universal. Brett gives me a, oh wait, hold on. Rexer Show says there's a website that has arcade shaped charts with the names and the pictures of arcade styles. Oh, Rexer Show is going full PI mode. He's mm-hmm. going to start looking at the shapes of cabinets. Uh, but but keep in mind, they don't always, they don't always keep the shape. Um, let's see. I'd be happy with Back to the Future. Well, Attack from Mars, we've already, they already announced. So we're, right. unless they, so it is yeah, 100%. Unless they change that. <laughs> what, Attack from Mars? Yeah, Attack from yeah, Mars is 100%. 100% just, so yeah, so so far, just to recap, we've got Star Wars and we've got Attack from Mars. That was all CES stuff. So this is something else. Now, if it's in the Zen family, we can kind of break it down unless they opened, uh, unless they announced another relationship with someone else that they're going to do pinball with. I would guess since they haven't actually sold, you know, sold them to the general public yet, they would stay with Zen. Zen's a good pick too because Zen has a great catalog of games. So. I'm going back to the future. I'm going universal. But the the only the only thing about that, Justin, is if you go mm-hmm. universal, you have uh Jaws, ET, and Back to the Future. And I don't know if they have any other universal games on the Zen uh app. I'm trying to think. I don't think so. I need to give a shout out to Alec Boyd, who is out of school right now. Uh there I think they're on summer break. So Alec, thanks for joining my friend. Tell your dad I miss your dad a lot. I really hope that I get to see you and your and your dad and your whole family soon. And your right. dog, even though your dog hates me. So um, finally, <laughs> we have the the first one, and and to me this this one this is an odd one because you got this one. I don't know, man. Yeah, the second one, you know, from the right, um, kind of has that newer shape, but then the first one kind of has that original shape. I think. Uh, well, because I was originally going to say it it was a it's some kind of fighting cab, but it's got an interesting angle. I don't think that angle's the same. No, it doesn't curve. It's like this. You see it? The very well, first it one. It it. So if you look at the Gen ones, they do. You, uh, shall we pull out? Should we pull n- out Marvel versus uh, or Marvel uh, special edition? Should we pull it out? There you go. All right. Hold on, I'm gonna break stuff. All right, so. This. What are you talking about? Even in the the first gen, um, you know they're shaped differently, but they have that that swoop, right? Okay, J- Justin, it's I know you can't hear me as good, but it's behind me, so it looks like the curve. It looks like the curve is similar, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, but but it's got more of an a straight angle on it. But I don't know. Maybe that's the Photoshop. Well, but the top looks different, right? Now my top is modified, but the top looks slightly different to me. Doesn't it? I don't know. I don't know. The angles look weird, but it could just be Photoshop. Yeah, I'm like trying to figure on, out what the heck yeah. that that thing sticking out of it is. Is that a someone, joystick? But why is it all? Eating, someone was eating a hot dog and <laughs> left it there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, uh, pretty exciting. Uh, we're gonna know more details tomorrow. Uh, let's see, four Pacific. Um, no. Five Pacific. Well, four Pacific. No, four for that. is yeah. when the announcement. Five is when we go live with John. So don't forget to turn on notifications. Uh, we're going to be live uh, tomorrow, and we're gonna we're gonna get extra details about each one of these products. Uh, try to get some interesting tidbits about it. Um, so yeah, yeah. 
I'm 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 super excited for tomorrow because think about it, guys. We're gonna find out. <laughs> Arcades, what's up? <laughs> he actually is the guy that did the coin ops build that uh, that I just did the video on today. So he's definitely go check him out on yep. uh, go check out his YouTube channel. But um, he's doing some really cool stuff with coin ops. Uh, someone yeah, like someone said, paper boys, paper boy. They're thinking it's paper oh. boy on the first one. Yeah, but yeah, but uh, paper boy, you're gonna have the um. You know, you're going to have the steering or the um, handlebars, though. The joystick is the clue. Really? Zoom into that, Justin. The joystick right. looks like a hot dog or like someone bit, took a bite out of the... I don't know. It, I think... Here's what I think. I think it's just a normal... Wait. Maybe it's a <laughs> it bat looks top. looks like a flight stick. No. Well, it's, maybe it's a bat top, but just, you know, they went into Photoshop and they went to, you know, sh you know, whatever, feather all the edges, and that's what came out. Uh, maybe, maybe, it's a, maybe it's a bat top. Yeah, I have a couple that say it's a stick shift, it's a gear shift. I don't know, it's weird because... Uh, it's clearly a gear that shift. That would be a weird... <laughs> that would be a weird... I don't know, like, I don't... This one, I'm, it has me stumped. I don't know what this one is. Because I feel like it has weird curves on the top that don't make sense to, like... Mm -hmm. It almost looks like it's going up and then kind of angled out toward you. And I don't understand. I don't, I don't know. That one's throwing me off. So you're talking about right there? No, go up. Okay. See how the top of the marquee has that weird angle? Like, no, go like oh, right go here. From that, no, go from the bat top or the whatever that is. Go from the hot dog. Mm hmm. And then go up. So you got your first curve there, right? Yeah. And then your second oh. curve. The third curve is weird. It curves then out a little bit. You're right. You don't curve out like that. Yeah. I mean, someone did mention it could just be, it could just be, you know, you're not going to post this photo and give everything away. So it could be one of those things where they're just like, eh, just put some angles on there to mess with them, you know? Like, yeah. I mean, it could be. I mean, We're I would just do that. falling for it, right? You're right. I mean, I'm actually surprised they did that. The only reason why I'm surprised they sent this Twitter message out is because the other one, the Big Buck Hunter is like a total giveaway. Like, that is a Big Buck Hunter. There's no way that's not Big Buck Hunter. Like, it yeah. looks, it, it, there's no other machine I know of that has the top like that. And then it has the gun hanging out of it. So unless, they, yeah. unless this is just the joke, so they could be having fun with us too. They might be like, <laughs> right. let's just release them. We'll put some funny curves on them. We'll make one wicked obvious. And then it's not even these. I mean, that could be the case too. Yeah. That's what I think is fun about these is that this could be like, Hey, maybe they were actually like, Hey, we did a good job with no actual leaks. Let's just have some fun with it. You know? Countercade Buck Hunter. It's the arcade one up. Countercade <laughs> Buck Hunter. Oh, wait, hold on. Nikki's upset. Oh. I don't see a wheel making me cry. Well, we don't want to make you cry. We want, to, we want, to, we want you to be happy today. So, all right, let's see. <laughs> it's a shifter, right. Lewis says. It think, might uh, be Mad Dog McCree 1 and 2 on the Brent last says one. the first one, he thinks it's Afterburner. Brent. Okay. I am Joe Afterburner. I love that. That was my game. The, th the only thing that sucked is in my local arcade, that thing cost a dollar. I'm going to tell you a little secret, Justin, that I don't think I've ever told anybody. Oh, my God. I'm it's, not it's, proud of Is this. it secret time? Okay, it's time for secret time. I'm not proud of this. So my... don't. I don't this is now final thoughts. I, I need a new song. I need a new song for secret time. Secret time. What does that sound like? This is what secret time sounds like. It's time for Ralph to tell us... <laughs> <laughs> do it man okay so check this out so i'm gonna be thrown off by the music okay so my my stepfather used to own uh like apartment complexes and stuff just a couple of them and i guess they must have had like the washing and washer and dryers like in the basement but they were coin operated mm -hmm. so in the so okay i'm not proud of this you know this is the only time in my life i've ever stolen anything so i'm not proud what? But in the closet of my parents, so my bedroom was like across the hallway from my parents' bedroom. I could, I, we had like this really weird red carpet, which when I used to play G.I. Joe's, I used to pretend it was lava. Like if they fell on the red carpet, they would die, sure. which was interesting because the whole floor was red. So it was kind of, anyway, long story short, I would crawl outside the window. I would crawl outside my door, right? All right. We're going to go to Dream Machine later today. But I need quarters because the only way I'm playing Afterburner is if I have a dollar in quarters. So I'm crawling across the floor, crawling across the floor. I'm making sure, looking down the hallway, this big, long, seemed like the longest hallway ever, even though it wasn't. I'm like, all right, no one's there. My mom's in the kitchen because she's always in the kitchen, so I'm clear there. So I'm crawling over. I go around the corner. There's two big, ma big jars, like gigantic mason jars. I'm unscrewing it. I'm looking around the corner. Oh my gosh, where's my mom? Is my mom in the kitchen? Where's my mom? My stepfather's not home, so I'm in the clear. I'm in the clear. I get in there. 
I get as many quarters as I can, but I don't want to take too many because then they'll see that they'll see the quarters depleted. I put the can back in. I make it look like it's the same. And crawl back out. Back into my room. Now I leave a little. Once I'm back in my room, I leave enough time to make it seem like I've been in there and I never left. Then, hey, I didn't call her up. Then I'm like, hey, mom, can you take us to Dream Machine? And those quarters I stole, which I'm not, not happy about, enabled me to play that game. So that game does hold a special heart, special place in my heart. So anyways, that's it. That's the story. That's the story. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the story about Afterburner. Yeah, I know. It was really lame, but <laughs> so we got a couple of tappers. Hey, what do you know? Rhode Island's in the house. He knows all about the dream machine because he grew up in my hometown. Uh, yeah, in, in Rhode Island. So uh, Lincoln, Rhode Island, the dream machine was that. Do you want to answer? Do you want to take this one? I'll field this one really quick. Wait. So we're talking about any thoughts on the Yak Games pinball news? That's what that's what you want to talk about now? Nah, <laughs> I don't know. We could. Nah, nah. this is well, we could. Just real quick. It's, all it's right, a let's talk it's about on, it real all quick. Right, all right. It's on the pinball. I'll give you my two second my two seconds on it. Yeah. So I got I want to level set, guys. Guys, I know sometimes I can get excited about things, but mm -hmm. there's a there's a time where we get excited because we have like, you know, images of something, whatever. It's hard for me personally to get excited when the only thing that's leaked out is a spreadsheet of just some basic specs. Now, granted, there's some interesting specs on the spreadsheet, mm -hmm. but let's let's like simmer down we can't get excited about everything without knowing a little bit more detail so i think it's interesting but i would i'm going to try to take a more calm approach and go it's a spreadsheet i have nothing to get that hyped about so i'll wait till more information is released and that's my that's my thing but but you know good to see this competition in the space obviously uh you know more is better when it comes to the pinball stuff uh, I think pinball is an interesting hobby to try to make cost effective. So it'll be interesting to see what they come up with. And also, we haven't seen the final version of the arcade one-up stuff. So I don't know if what Justin and I saw as prototypes in SCS is exactly how it's going to look. Because there were a couple things where it seemed like they were still refining it. So we don't That's really right. know. Then they haven't made an official. Maybe we'll see. I wonder, tomorrow, will we see imagery of the new pinball? Right. I don't know. I would that, think yes. That'd be really cool. So something to look forward to there. So that's my that's my uh, <laughs> retro robber, Ralph. <laughs> so that's my that's my opinion on it. It's it's nothing nothing against at games themselves. I just feel like wow, that was kind of uneventful for a like maybe it could have had a little bit more than just a a spreadsheet. You know, it takes a lot more. I, and maybe I secretly don't get hyped about spreadsheets because I have to look at them all day long at work. So <laughs> maybe that's why I'm not like yes, another spreadsheet. So yeah. Anyways, <laughs> that's my take on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that's that sounds good so uh yeah i think that's all we have for today that's right so i think it's time ralph it's time for final thoughts right yeah do you want to bring up i think for final thoughts time i need to see the picture of the of the right. new cabinets let's let's do it all right guys it's final thoughts time so first of all thank you for coming together on this impromptu uh live stream today we definitely appreciate the support <laughs> And I think Justin just missed a chord. That's right. But it's cool. We'll just improvise. It's a live show. But what we learned is for one, I was only a thief once in my life, <laughs> and it was to get quarters to go to the arcade. I'm open and honest about that. And hopefully, you will not judge me because I used it to play an arcade game. Now, I don't know if my parents ever found out, but if I put my hand in that jar probably 10 times in one week, I would imagine the quarters would have been depleted to a point where they must have noticed. And he missed another chord. Just letting you guys know. <laughs> I was staring at you. <laughs> the other thing we learned is that the, the arcade all the way to the right has got to be Buck Hunter. I am going to put my heart and soul into that. That has got to be Buck Hunter. The one over, not really sure. The other one, I don't know. It's got long legs. <laughs> I'm going to go out on a whim here and say it's a pinball machine of some kind. Now the one all the way to the left, I don't really know. But it made Nikki cry. That's what I learned today. Those are my final thoughts. But I am so excited for tomorrow because we get to finally find out what are these machines. <laughs> it's been Final Thoughts with Retro Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Wait, oh, no. Oh, no. There was a comment I got about that.
<laughs> Wait, it said something like it's gone. It said winners don't do drugs, but they steal from their mom or something. <laughs> <laughs> Steals from his mom. That's awesome. That is good. That's good. That's really all right, good, guys, man. Well, I, that's all we got. You know, we want, we want to make it short and sweet. We still yeah, want yeah. it. We still want a half an hour, but short and sweet. That's what we know so far, but we'll all know tomorrow. And then we'll have, you know, that call with John D where we can kind of see. So let's tell people know, what, what time, what time we're going live. 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow. That's an hour after the scheduled announcement for the IGN Summer of Gaming. Now, That's keep, right. Yeah, I'm not going to say more. I'll, I'll, I'll end up. What I end up doing is I end up talking forever. And then Justin's like, it's an Italian goodbye and all that stuff. So. All right. So we'll see you guys on the next, the one. next one. Take care. Take care, guys. Thanks for joining. Appreciate it.